different people use a little bit different techniques on these. Um, I got my own way of doing things. And uh, the basics are the same, but you might see oops, you might see a little bit different technique. I'll try to explain some of the different things that people do. Now, first thing on these muskrats, you should have the fur dry on it before you skin it. And uh, too much stuff in my pocket. And these 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 two muskrats. I'll tell you a little trick about this. They were soaking underwater this morning, and all I done was I took some old newspaper wrapped them up in that newspaper and that soaked up a lot of the water and then uh, and I when that got good and soaked up I replaced it I done that three times and you can see they're pretty nice and dry now if I was home I'd probably hang them in front of uh, the fan for a little bit but that's pretty nice and dry right now so, I try to explain this in a way it's kind of minimal equipment so you won't have to buy a huge amount of stuff. All I use is a pocket knife. It's good and sharp though. And I for muskrats anyways. And I I'm a firm believer in the sharpening steel. I use that a lot. Muskrats are really easy to take care of. You just hook this back leg. Now a lot of guys, they'll drive a nail in an old table or a board and they'll cut the head off and then they can just push that foot over that and that will hold it for them. And then you just, you just make a cut from the heel to the middle of their tail. Really. like that and grab the tail and make another cut to the other heel. Then you can kind of pinch this where this has been cut. Stick your knife through there and cut that off. And you want to cut through here and cut right through the the intestine there. And flip it over, pinch that again, and stick your knife through there and cut the cut the tail loose. Can I see underneath where you have it when you're doing it? You just pinch that. I'll yeah. do I'll do this other one too. Okay. Holler at me so I get what you want. Okay. But then you you want to just make a just a couple little cuts here. And then you can take this muskrat. You get a hold of him like that, and you just turn him inside out, just like that. And you can just take your thumb and you can push it between these and pull there and tear that loose. And do the same to the other side. If you have a little trouble here, you can always take the knife and cut it like that. Then this belly, the belly has a tendency to rip open if you just pull on it. So you kind of want to get a hold of this and pull from the side. Until there's a, actually a hole there and then you can pull it loose like that. And then you can just pull it down like that. And then you don't have to use a knife here so you don't cut it. Then you have to use a knife around the ears. You want, you want to make sure them ears are on there. You don't want to cut a hole there because they, even though you think, oh, they're not going to use that head for anything, 
they will grade you down if you damage them. You just well, that's pretty easy. I didn't even put my glasses on for this, which I I can't see with the dam. So if I'm not wearing my glasses, you know it's pretty easy. You can really dull your knife around these teeth, so you want to kind of be a little bit careful with it. <coughs> Cut the nose off so, so that the nose is on there. You don't want to cut that clear it off. You're done. Again, you just stick that through there, sharpen the steel first. Now, I, I kind of cut through there, but you just want to cut through. You see there's, their intestine sticks off, but they want that on, that piece on the hide there. So you just Bruce, you put yours on the wire stretcher board? I've used boards. Nothing wrong with the wire stretcher, though. That's probably the most commonly used stretcher for muskrats. For muskrats, I use wire, and when I'm doing my muskrats, when he comes up to that tail, I leave about that much of that tail on there. You can, you can real easy, just by, you, just you get, like you get shot. like there, and then instead of just cutting it off, you can kind of, oops, I didn't even do that, <laughs> but you can kind of run it up there. I'm not used to that, because I use a board. Then you just cut a long slit in that little, you know, yeah. slit this way. Why do they want that piece of meat that's on there? Like that. Uh, it's it's easy. Yeah, it's easier to put it on the stretcher. Yeah, that's very little question on it. There is some. You don't turn the ears. You just cut, just cut them off. You just cut them off. Right. They'll dry good. You don't have to worry about anything drying on a muskrat. The biggest thing is just, is just not to cut the eye holes great big, or make a cut a huge part of the nose off, because they will. They will downgrade you, but you see, I made a little bit of a boo boo right here. That will mean nothing. That will cut there. It's right up against the lip. It's Karen's muscle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs>